everyone, welcome back to Readeroo Kids. My name is Miss Christy, and today I'm so excited to share another awesome book with you. If you're as excited as I am, be sure to give this video a thumbs up below, and don't forget to click subscribe. That way, every time we post a new story, you and I can read together again right away. All right, today's book is called Little Snowflake. Discover an amazing story from the natural world. Let's get started. Little Snowflake by Scholastic Inc. I was born inside a cloud one frosty winter day as the wind blew over mountaintops high and far away. Tiny drops of water froze all sparkly as can be they turned into strands of ice. And the ice turned into me. Cute little snowflake. Suddenly the wind whipped up and hurled me to and fro. I couldn't tell my up from down or which way I should go. Sorry little snowflake, wind said with a sigh. I'm needed somewhere else tonight. It's time to say goodbye. And with that, wind was off, waving back at me. I fluttered gently downward and landed on a tree. The sun was coming up and the sky was all aglow. From high up in our tree, we gazed at the world below. A squirrel scampered up the trunk to see the snowy view. His paws made all the branches shake, and down to earth we flew. Now the sun was shining bright, the start of a new day. Very soon the children all came running out to play. Someone scooped us up and squeezed us tight and round. Whee! We hurled through the air, then... Splat! We hit the ground. They rolled them up into a snowball. And then threw the snowball, but it hit the ground. Splat! Then they started rolling us to make a big round ball. They lifted us up high to make a snowman standing tall. Now they're a snowman. From high up on the snowman's head, I watched the children play. They laughed and ran and danced and skated all that snowy day. Ooh, what's gonna happen here? The afternoon grew warmer, the sun was shining bright. The snowman slipped and melted. He was quite a funny sight. Soon we were a puddle sparkling in the sun. We turned to mist and floated up. Our time down here was done. They melted and then there, the sun heated up the water, which turned the little water molecules into mist. They're floating back up into the sky. I drifted back up to the clouds, who gave a happy smile. So nice to have you back again. You've been gone a while. High above the world we flew, the wind began to blow. The cold air turned my mist to ice, and ice turned into snow. There he is, a cute little snowflake again. Let's learn about a snowflake's life cycle. So snowflakes form inside clouds when it's very cold. There's the little snowflake. Tiny drops of water turn into ice crystals that join together in unique and beautiful patterns. When the snowflakes grow large and heavy enough, they drift down to the ground as snow. When the sun shines and the weather gets warmer, the snowflakes melt into drops of water, then turn into mist that rises up into the clouds again. And then it starts over and over and over. What a cute book. I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. 
Don't forget that if you liked this book, to give it a thumbs up below and click on subscribe. That way, every time we post a new story, you'll get notified and we can read together again right away. If you'd like activities to go along with our books, you can head over to readaroukids.com. There, we do all kinds of fun things like science experiments, arts and crafts. We practice our math skills and reading skills. So come on over and see what we have this month. If you'd like to see what we're up to every day, you can follow us on all of our social media. Again, I loved reading with you today, and I hope that we can read together again soon. Until then, Readeroo loves you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.